Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from The Automator. And uh, here's just a really quick tip. So Isaiah was showing me before how great VS Code it is to be able to compare files. The problem is, so they don't, you can't control the order they load. So sometimes the new file is the left and sometimes it's the right. And it gets really, really confusing when that happens. So yeah. Isaiah, would you show us this extension that you found and, and how to use it? Yeah, sure. And so the problem itself is that when you're comparing files, VS Code, when you have the file comparison, like you have in here, sometimes, you would see that here, you see this line that it says that I removed that line in the new file, but that is not true. I actually went ahead and added that. Now, usually when you're doing the source control, that is not going to happen because the source control automatically loads the file in the correct order. You would have this issue when you are in the, um, in the Explorer window and you select two files, right click on them and select the option to compare selected. When you do that, the Explorer does not know which one is the previous file and which one is the, new, the newer file. It will just put them both in a diff window and that's it. But sometimes the order is not going to be correct for exactly how you actually change the files or whatever. So basically, there is no native way to VS Code to swap the diff view in here. But there was a, an extension created very recently that actually does that. So what you would do is that you go to the extension pane in here. So you go to the extensions and find swap diff, I think it is. So the swap diff extension here, as you can see, it hasn't been downloaded by many people. But if you go ahead and take a look at the change log, it is just because it is, it has been, it was created a few months ago. So it is something that is not well known. And that's the reason why we're making the video so that you know. After you have this, if you are in a diff view like in here, right? If you're in this view like here, you could just use your control shift P to load the command panel here and you just, put swap div documents in there and hit enter and it would swap the documents for you. Now this in here, this is how I had it at the beginning. And if I want to swap it, I just do that. Control shift P in this case, as, it, as that was the last command that I used, it will be selected by default. So I could just swap between them very quickly by just using the control shift P command. And it is amazingly good, especially when I'm comparing files like all the time I find myself like, okay, it is showing me the wrong order. Well, I just do that. And probably well, you could you could actually even set up a hotkey for it by pressing the, the gear here. And yeah. you could actually select a key binding for it if you want. So you don't have to be using the command palette for that. You just put your, your hotkey and that's it, right? So this is a very good extension. I highly recommend you have it until it is actually natively done in VS Code. This is a very good extension that I, I, I think it is essential <laughs> when you're actually comparing Imagine files. trying to reverse your brain and realize, uh, yes. oh, wait a minute, no, okay, this was added. It's red. That means it was actually added. Not added, yes. Yeah. And it gets more confusing when you have like red in one side and green on the other one, and you don't know, okay, so this was right. added, but what the hell did I add? Well, I added a, a space or something. And unless you remove that, you, you can just remove the spaces so that it just doesn't show you the spaces. Right. Yeah. But in this case, like, yeah, that's, but right. what if you just change a specific line and there's something green on the side and red on the other, like it will get really confusing. It is very good for me at least to have the correct order. And I know that everything on the right side is the new changes. That's all. So it, it is very um, intuitive for me because that's what I do every day. I get used to that. Like on the right side, that's my new change, right? So yeah, I think this extension is a must have, especially when you're comparing files. I don't know how often people do that, but I do it very often. Like I just right click two files that I'm actually taking a look at, especially when you make some modifications on HK studio and it creates kind of like a, like a backup file. I just go ahead and grab your backup file and my file and double check what changed. In a manual way, I cannot do it in VS Code because then VS Code shows your file like completely new, which is not right. So it is, it is just that it's in a different folder. That's why. So yeah, you know, I hope awesome. people <laughs> find this extension very good, right? So yeah, yeah. And if you're new to VS Code, we, we have we actually did a two hour webinar covering using VS Code. Now, granted, it's without a hotkey, but you can learn a lot of great stuff. Isaiah showed how using it with the Git integration, how powerful it is. It's quite powerful. So. Yeah, it is. Thank you, man. Okay, bye.
Hey, thanks for watching that video. And if you wouldn't mind, ask questions or comment on the video. I read every comment that's in here. I don't always reply to everyone, but I do read everyone. So I'd really appreciate it if you would comment. Also, like, uh, it really does help me out. Cheers.